It's been an amazing few days at Sea Otter Classic here in Monterey, California, and we thought we'd finish things off by cycling to Los Angeles. I'm here with Lucy, and we've got five days of riding coming up. That's going to be really bad because I just rode through loads of sand and then there was glass, so I'm probably in the background like, ah! Today's ride, 100-ish kilometers. We're not going on the coast because there's been mudslides, so we can't get through. So we're going to King City. Yeah. You know, the really famous place. Famous, apparently, for being really smelly. Yeah. I've heard. No offense to the guys who live in King City, but... We can report back later. Yeah. See if the rumors are true. I'll turn on the smell of vision so you, you get a taste of it. A smell of it. Did that intro make sense? I don't know. It's been a long few days, guys. Bear with us. Start as we mean to go on. 11k in. At least I've got the frame pump. Hey Lucy, if we get hungry, we can eat uh, one of these artichokes. I don't think they'd be very nice raw. They're kind of fluffy inside. Have you eaten one? Not raw. Maybe there's like something tastier down there. Yeah. We can well, do carrots. Exactly. Although we wouldn't know until we pulled them out what they were. Tractor drift. Do you think it'll take us all the way to King City? Maybe. You can tell which one of us lives locally. I'm shorts and jersey already. Julie and arm warmers. So Californian. This brings back memories. Usually it's Justin that gets me presents, but he's not here. I'm gonna take his place. Do they not have vanilla? Justin gets me vanilla. If you haven't watched one of these bikepacking series before, essentially we ride and then stop at gas stations and eat sugary drinks. Eat sugary drinks. Eat sugary drinks. Yeah. Sometimes we meet interesting and exciting people at the gas stations too, like cowboys. There's only people buying modellos. Like what was that? lunchtime modellos, like Ooh. big. It's 11.30. We've done about 50k. Wind has been perfect. Sun has come out. We're riding from some quite nice chilly weather this morning at the coast. King City, super hot. So Hydrate, look, 100% hydration. I'm very excited. This place here is five star, with only seven reviews, but it's not too bad. Apparently people come here and charge their e-cars. Wow, welcome to Charlie, okay? Thank, Thank you. you. Have a good, have a good luck, pick up, okay? You too. Every time I upload a YouTube video when Lucy's in it and we're doing a bike ride, you get approximately one million questions in the comment section asking what helmet she's wearing. Well, in today's episode, we're finally going to answer that question because this video is sponsored by Cav, the helmet company that Lucy works for. Nice helmet. This one's brand new. Mine's yeah. new as well. Ah, oh, look at that. Yeah. New helmet day. Can you explain to the viewers what's special about this helmet? So this is 3D printed custom fit to Francis's head. Made in the USA, actually in California, a couple hours away from Monterey where we were. It's made of a polycarbonate, so much better than EPS foam. EPS foam is actually quite an old... EPS foam is actually quite an old technology that hasn't really been updated in the past 30 years. So the idea of this is that it's much more durable. The hexes that are actually all over the helmet this is what the helmet is made out of. You can kind of see it on the top of my helmet here in certain light. Can you see it? Don't know. And the idea is that this is a crumple zone built in. So in the event of a crash, uh, it takes the impact and does that job. Everything in the helmet apart from the straps and this buckle is actually made in house. Even stuff like the pads are printed directly onto the foam. They're super squishy this way, but very, very stiff this way. You have these springs inside, are 3D printed, nice and squishy. So every one of these helmets are made to order and custom fit. So Francis went through a fit session with our team. They take seven different measurements to produce the helmet. So it's not just using small, medium and large and then cranking that down to fit your head. We only make your size or my size or whoever's size billions of combinations that can be done we're going to finish the ride now but if you want to check out calf there'll be a link in the description down below to their website and thank you for sponsoring this video we've only got 30k to go i don't think we're gonna have to do much pedaling it's been really really nice so far like just we've been steaming ahead at like 38k an hour pretty much come out with back yeah it's sweaty. sweaty only a little bit possibly the best burrito i've ever eaten we sat around for way too long ever 
ever. Ever? That's bold. It was really good. Problem is, we sat there for so long, and now it's about 10 degrees warmer. Warm like a lightsaber. I hate that joke so much. Warm. <laughs> Lucy's front derailleur has stopped working. Uh oh. At least it's not a real massive tailwind. Yeah. Oh wait. I think that was the easiest 100k I've ever done. I would agree. You've been blessed for your first ever bags on bikes trip. Yeah. With the biggest tailwind ever. We're now in King City. Um, have you noticed something? What? Doesn't smell. It smells quite nice, if anything. 103 kilometers in the bank. Day one, done and dusted. I have 106. You've done further? Yeah. Garlic. Oh, sorry. I was distracted by garlic world. Located in the garlic capital of the world, Gilroy. We're not going through there. I'll have to save that for another vlog series, sorry guys. We've just bought a bunch of supplies for tomorrow because it's going to be an extremely big day on the bike. 150 kilometers, 2,000 meters. More importantly, we need to fuel perfectly for tomorrow's ride by eating well this evening. Luckily, just around this corner is the perfect solution. Um, not palmer violets, but you know the similar sweets you used to get. Turns out $40 of food from Taco Bell is a lot of food. I'm here for it. What's that? I think it's a quesadilla. I think they have a knife in oh. That was really nice, but have you noticed every single thing that you order is actually the same, but just in a different shape? That's a lie. There was one thing which um, was a taco made of Dorito. The shell was made of Doritos. That was my favorite, I think. It's probably, this is maybe only exciting for English people. Thank you for watching today's episode. It feels like a bit of a throwback to the old style videos that I used to make. There's gonna be four more of these and subscribe if you wanna check out part two, which is coming up soon, where we're gonna check out Lucy's bike and her setup. Thanks for watching and see you guys soon. It's a big pump.